I wanted to give just a quick tour of uh, sort of the anatomy of the Arduino and a little bit of an overview of some of the things that you will have found in your kit um, as you're getting started. So the Arduino works by plugging into your computer. Um, it will have come with a USB cable here where one end goes in the computer and the sort of fat squarish end can go right into the Arduino. Um, this cable handles both power and data, um, sending back and forth through your computer and the Arduino, and it also gives it power through the USB port. The way that Arduino works is a little program that I'll show you. Um, sort of, you put the code into the program or you load up somebody else's code, and you press a button and you send the code over to the Arduino, essentially, and it will run your program. Um, so the Arduino works basically by looping your program over and over and over again um, so that once you send a program to this, theoretically you could disconnect it, you could plug it into its power, and uh, you would have a little circuit that runs your instructions. What Arduino lets you do basically is create very simple circuits and then manipulate them with computer code. So a lot of the things that you find in your bag are oriented towards helping you do exactly that. <coughs> So, the first thing that you will have found are uh, a bunch of cables here, a bunch of little wires, all different colors, all different lengths. Some of them are very long, some of them are very short. You know, most of them have points at both ends. And so generally what we do is you're going to use these to connect various ports on the Arduino. If you look here on the sides, there are these raised black ports that the wire simply sits in. So anytime you're connecting one port to another, uh, you're basically plugging a wire in from one side to another. Um, most of them have little labels along here. We've got a couple of them that handle power. If you look really closely, I'm not sure you can quite see it on the camera, but you'll see that one of them is labeled 5 volts, one of them is labeled 3.3 volts. Um, a couple of them are, are labeled ground. Um, you'll, you'll sometimes have circuits that need to be grounded like that. Um, then we have analog pins over here which can deal with certain kinds of data and then digital pins over here which can deal with certain kinds of data. Then we've got you know, a large processor, other small little components, and finally a little reset button over here in the corner. On the back, nothing special. So, what you do to create some kind of a circuit or some kind of a design in Arduino is generally connecting different ports together through different kinds of wires. So you have your very basic wires here, uh, multicolored. A lot of times by convention people will use red wires to carry power, um, black wires for grounding, and then white or colored wires are sort of your data handling wires. Um, some circuits require all of these things, some circuits don't. You'll see we have various components. This is actually a component that I have that's not exactly the same in your kit. Uh, this is a piezo buzzer. This can be used for a couple of different things, including uh, a small speaker. So in your actual kit, you have something that's a little bit fancier. It's a tiny piezo buzzer that's encased in hard plastic. And if you look at it, it'll have a hole in one side where you can sort of see that there's metal inside. Um, and so this essentially is a very, very thin um, buzzer. You'll encounter this um, in a lot of different circuits and when electricity is passed through it, it vibrates very quickly. Um, so it can actually sort of create a musical sound. Here you've got two ports. You'll have power on one, data on the other. Um, you'll also have some sensors that actually use three ports um, where you'll have power, grounding, and then data. <coughs> 